Hello lovelies, welcome to another Timeless Pick a Card reading and in today's reading I'm going to be channeling messages from your soul to find out about your life path. So this is to look at if you're on track, whether anything needs to change, whether something needs to end or something needs to begin. It's those kinds of messages, okay? So choose a reading that resonates with you the most and before I get into the readings I want to remind you that I'm offering private readings energy healing, animal communication and courses and I've got special offers available at the moment and I've also got a few things available to download for free. Okay, so let's get on with the readings. Hello group one, thank you for joining me. I hope you're doing well today. I'm going to choose a few cards just to get us in scent um, a sense, in sense, a sense of whether um, you're on the right track, if you need to change directions with something, or if you need to start something or end something. Let's see what cards we've got here, first of all. A sense of these. We've got religion and spirituality, 33 truths. Okay, nice blue energy going on there. And we've got 31 Depth and Lake. Okay, so let's just get a couple of these. We've got Seven of Spades in a Journey and Jack of Hearts Playful and Lighthearted. Right, let me tune into the energy of this. Okay, so the message I'm getting coming through from your soul group one is that you've been doing a lot of deep inner work for yourself. You know, you've been digging down deep. You've been healing from things. You've been learning a lot about yourself. You've been, some of you might have been really practicing self-awareness and being present in the moment. I'm getting that quite strongly for a few of you, you know, where you've become quite aware of your thoughts and the beliefs that have been running in the background in your subconscious. I feel like you've been learning a lot about yourself, how you react, who you are, why you think the way you think, why you feel the way you feel, you know. I feel like you've been really going down into the depths of who you are as a human being, what has happened to you and how your past has shaped you into the person that you've become in the present. It feels like like most of you listening to this reading feel like you're on a very spiritual path and you've been on the path for quite a while. You're not new to it. And I'm getting the message that from your soul that it's like, it's like there's something that needs to change here, but it's, it's not a big deal, but it might be a big deal to some of you. And what I feel is in connection with this dolphin card here where, you know, I mean, being on this spiritual journey, things, things can get quite deep and dark and serious sometimes, can't they? Where we get quite bogged down in doing all this inner work and doing the inner healing and focusing on the big picture of things and all of that, that it can actually take us away from our childlike self and from having fun and being lighthearted and just being silly and playing, you know. So I feel that, that this first message coming through from your soul at the moment, Greek one, is to ask you to be lighter, to not get so bogged down with the seriousness of the spiritual journey, to do the things that, that will uplift you, to do something where you can actually be silly and have fun and do something lighthearted, do something that you wouldn't normally do. You know, you know the saying, sing um, as if there's no one listening, dance as if there's no one watching, that kind of thing. That's the message I'm getting coming through, first of all. But I'm going to get some more cards because I want to get some more insight from your soul. I, I'm also getting the, the feeling that from your soul energy that there's this sense of it's almost like pride where your soul, your spirit team are very proud of who you who you are becoming. It's like because you're you're making your way back to your true self. And there's not many people that, you know, go on that journey. It, it's not easy. It's a bumpy ride. And so your spirit family, the, you know, the helpers from the invisible realms, they are just coming through with this 
gratitude towards you, you know, for the work that you've put in on yourself. And they're just saying how proud that they are of you because of the changes that you've gone through. So that's really lovely. I also get, I mean, from this truth card, I am getting this sense as well that you are becoming very much in touch with your own personal truth, that you are on this pathway, you're becoming your authentic self, but that there is a little bit of a disconnect with your childlike self because, you know, as we grow up, we kind of lose that about ourselves, don't we? How many people do you know that are not afraid of being silly like their child self, you know, there's not many people that are like that at all. And I feel that that's one big energy that's coming through for you. Because I do feel like that there's something maybe going on recently for you, group one that might have weighed you down a bit and been a bit of a burden, or it might have been a bit of an uphill struggle for you. Maybe something that you've been doing hasn't turned out how you wanted, or it's been just way too much hard work, and you might be feeling a bit fed up or a bit tired. So this message can Coming through is to do something that will lighten you up. Okay. Now we've got openness here and decisions. Both of those cards have got full moons on them, haven't they? So I feel that something, there's some kind of a cycle. We've got this inner journey card as well with this spiral. So I do feel like you're closing out a cycle at the moment. And I feel that this cycle could be relating to whatever it is that's gone on for you recently that might have felt a bit heavy. Um, and it might have dragged you down a little bit. You see this this figure in the lake here, it's like, it. I sense that this could be you sinking, you know, you feel weighed down by something. So your soul is coming through, reminding you to do something that will lift you up. Maybe something that you wouldn't normally do, something that could be outside of your comfort zone a little bit, maybe. Um, I'm also getting this very strong blue energy in this reading, but I'm seeing it in connection with the water energy in the throat chakra. So so I feel that there is some kind of communication that needs to take place, some important words that need to be spoken. That's the feeling I'm getting. Um, it could relate to a recent situation that's weighed you down. It might not be, it might not be like, it might be some, something separate, but I do feel as though you need to speak your truth to somebody, group one, um, because I feel that there's something happening that in relation to this burden, maybe in relation to what you need to talk about that's coming full cycle, it's completing. There is very much a completion energy coming through here. So the message I'm getting from these bottom row cars here is about needing to, in relation to what you need to say, whoever you need to say this to, it's about being being yourself when you're speaking, your truth, um, coming from your heart, not being afraid to speak with love, but by being assertive at the same time, where you're not projecting your emotions through what you're saying, but where you're coming from the position of being a detached observer, you know, where you're just kind of stating a fact. And maybe I do get the feeling that you might need to express how something has affected you in some way. So by just stating the facts and then saying how you're feeling rather, because if this involves another person, one other person, say, for example, um, you don't want to come across as blaming the other person and and pointing the finger or anything like that um, because that might be the sort of thing that this person would do so you want to use your evolved wisdom and tackle the situation differently um, but it could also be that I feel like there's, there's something that needs to be said so that you can free yourself from something so there might be some kind of a commitment that you've had that you need to end and speak about that with someone or, or with a group um, or with a family member or whoever it is so I feel like, like with this decisions card here, there is this need for you to decide not just what to say, but how to say it and what you're going to do about the situation. Because I feel like some of you might not have made up your mind about what you want to do about a certain situation in your life that you need to um, choose, make a choice with and maybe convey, you know, speak to somebody about something. So I feel like especially with this blue energy here, this blue energy is giving me the sense that you're going to get 
the um, help from spirit about the best decision to make. So with regards to what your soul is wanting to talk to you about, this is a change that needs to happen to bring something to a close, okay? This is a burdensome situation uh, that you've been involved in that might involve somebody else, but it might not. And then there's also this need to speak your truth, which could be connected to that situation, but it might be a separate situation. For some of you, I do feel like there's more than one conversations that need to be had. Like in, I'm talking about important conversations, you know, where you need to stand in your power and not be able, not be afraid to express, express your needs. So I'm going to get a couple more cards. The dogs next door are barking quite loudly. So they've obviously got something to say, which is quite apt with what I'm just talking about, isn't it? We have got here 15 emergency services. Yeah, that's the help that you're getting from Spirit and 18 red light. OK, you've got two number six energies here. There could be something that's been going on with somebody um, close to you or like a family member or a close friend or something in connection with a home business um, where... It might be that you've been helping somebody with something and in doing that, it's weighed you down. Um, I feel that you might have been the person bringing in the support here, but I'm also getting the message, especially with the lovely white dove there, that spirit and this card spirit is definitely helping you with this situation to bring it to a close um, because it feels like it's dragged on for some of you a little bit too long and spirit is, um, your, well, your soul is saying you don't need to drag this on anymore. It's okay to bring it to a close. The number six energy also relates to our responsibilities and commitments and the promises that we make with people. So I do get this sense with these full these full moon cycles and this completion energy that I'm feeling because we've got this red light here as well, which is about something stopping. Yeah, it's like this, it, it feels like what you've been involved in has been part of a soul contract um, for you to learn to express your needs and stand in your power. That's the main message I'm getting through from your soul about this. And your soul is saying that you've now learned what you needed to learn from the situation. So it is time to end it and to free yourself from the burden because it does feel like it's kind of draining you of energy and draining you of joy at the moment because it might have been on your mind a little bit, you know. And I feel, I'm also getting the message from this card here. I'm very drawn to these pink roses in the background and this pink energy here from the Jack of Hearts about you really needing to give yourself a lot of self-love and compassion group one where I feel like you've been very compassionate to others and it's now time to give yourself a little bit of that back you know just to top up your energy reserves and of course as I mentioned at the beginning of the reading do something to uplift you because this will help to restore your energy if you're feeling a little bit low let's just get a couple more cards then So we've got eight of spades and eight of clubs. Look at the synchronicity with the numbers there. Isn't that interesting? Okay. I also notice you've got the six, seven, eight and nine numbers, which is great confirmation about this ending that needs to take place for you, group one. Okay. We've also got more circles on that card. So this mental strength card, I feel like this is relating to you um, it relates to what I said at the beginning about you doing this inner work on yourself, you know, where you're sorting out your thoughts and beliefs and getting to know yourself better. But I feel that with the, you've got, if you see this here, we've got the seven and eight of spades, inner journey and mental strength. There is this very strong energy for you, group one, of this, like doing this inner work. But I feel with the mental strength card, it's maybe uh, to do with, let's see, yeah, I feel that um, your soul is just giving me the image of another card that I've got in a different deck, actually, with the flies on, where the flies relate to distraction or irritation. And it could be that this situation or a person in your life is kind of causing that feeling with you where whatever has happened uh, has been a bit of a burden, like I said, and maybe somebody has said or done something that has irritated you or 
It might be that this is their energy and you're picking up on it. I am getting that for a few of you, you know, those of you that are very emotionally sensitive and absorb everything like you're a sponge. You might actually be picking up on this other person's energy and it's making you feel a bit irritated. So that's another message from your soul is just to really examine your thoughts here and make sure you know your thoughts and feelings and just make doubly sure what you're feeling or thinking, if it belongs to you or not. Because I feel like those of you listening to this reading, I think that you have these moments, maybe quite a few moments now, where you really are honing your thoughts, your mental activity, where you are getting control of where your thoughts are going, you know, when they go off down a dark path that isn't helpful to you. I feel like you've been getting much better at pulling your thoughts back and watching yourself, you know. So I feel like this experience that has been weighing you down, this commitment that you are now finishing, I feel like this has been really good as, as well as part of your soul growth, human growth rather. Um, to help you to get your thoughts in check and it's been like a good experience like a learning experience for you to practice really honing your mind you know um, to because if you've been picked I'm, I'm getting the message that there is somebody around you whose energy is a lot more chaotic than yours. No, I'm not saying your energy is chaotic, but we've all got a little bit of chaos inside of us, haven't we? Do you know what I mean? But this person, there is somebody around you that is very chaotic. I think they're quite unstable mentally and emotionally, and they might swing from one emotion to the next, and they might, their mind could be all over the place. And I feel that this person has had an influence on you that you might not be fully aware of. I, for some of you, this connection might not be that strong, but I feel that there is somebody around all of you recently that has had some kind of an impact on you. Okay, it's just to be aware of that, of what whether your thoughts are your thoughts. Okay, let me just get a couple more cards. I'm going to get some more from my deck. My signs oracle, which I've got. I've reduced the price of this deck. If you're interested in getting your hands on the cards we've got. Oh, look at that. Seven release and ten rebirth. Brilliant cards to come out in this reading, aren't they? This lovely release card here is confirmation of releasing this burden, releasing this commitment, whatever it is that has been weighing you down, releasing yourself from it and open your, opening yourself up. We've got release and open to something more lighthearted. Um, we've got the 10 rebirth card. This is like an energy that you're moving into where you're going to feel a lot better. If you've actually been affected with your mood or your energy levels where you're feeling a bit tired or weighed down, like physically, this is a lovely new energy that's coming in, this rebirth energy. It's like a dawn more morning on this card and this will uplift you and give you like a new lease of life once you've gone through this release phase also I didn't mention about the eight of clubs here and the fact that you've got these two eights these eights and we've got you see the karmic symbol there in the set in the snake there's a very as I mentioned this is a soul connection a soul contract um, this is a karmic lesson that you've been going through and your soul is saying to you it is coming to a close now okay and this energy that is coming in for you um, where something has been stopped, if you've been doing something that has been stopped, you're now moving into this phase of abundance where something is going to flow in easily. I feel like this, whatever it is that's been holding you down, weighing you down like a burden to, to move through, it feels like it's... Um, it's taken up a lot of time and energy and effort from you and it might have affected you receiving some things, you know, some things might not have been working out because your attention has been diverted elsewhere. Um, but I feel that that's going to change for you. That is a positive change that's coming in. And I'm just seeing these numbers here, 188. When I see those numbers, that is a wonderful turnaround of a situation, okay? Like a big transformation that's coming in. And also these 88 numbers here with the karmic cycle finishing. So it's quite a few messages there from your soul, but it looks like a positive positive change um, through ending something and letting go of something for you great one I really hope that you found that reading useful let me know in the comments thank you for listening thank you for your love and support I will see you again and have a fab day Hello group two, thank you for joining me in the reading. So I'm going to be channeling messages from your soul to find out if you are on the right track with your life path, if anything needs to change, if there's anything needs bringing to an end or anything needs beginning. We'll see what wants to come through for you, okay. We've got motivation, 
Number nine, Archangel Michael. And number one, the Oracle of Delphi. Now, that's interesting. With the nine and the one energies coming out, especially in that order, there is something that you've been doing, something you've been engaging in that is no longer filling you with contentment or satisfaction. You just don't feel motivated by it anymore. You know, it's like it's wearing you down. But when you have to do it, you're feeling like, oh, gosh, I can't be bothered anymore with this. It's just not bringing you any joy, you know. So with the nine and the one energies, uh, this is about something ending and something that needs to begin, a new beginning with something. But I'm going to get quite a few more cards to see if what more insight we can get coming through. Get one from my deck, Life Signs Oracle, which is available and I've reduced the price for it. Okay, let's see what these cards are. 29 Perspective, 33 Truth, that's an 11 and 33. That came out in the last reading. And number two, Prepare. And... And then we've got Queen of Clubs, Loyal and Loving, the Jack of Hearts, Playful and Lighthearted. That also came out in the last reading. I'm going to get a couple more cards. I am seeing the clouds. I'm drawn to the cloud images on these two cards in particular. They just caught my attention and, and the mist on there, which is giving me this sense that you might not be sure what to do next. Even though you've got something in your life that's not motivating you anymore, that you're not feeling enthusiastic about anymore, you aren't maybe aren't quite sure what to do. I think that most of you have been aware of how you're feeling, you know, about this thing that you don't really want to do anymore. I think that you know if... I think at the very least, you've been getting intuitive nudges about this thing where, you know, you know how you feel, but you just don't know what to do about it. But you know that a change needs to take place. So we've got number four, the book and 24, the banana. OK, now we've got um, I notice we've got there's a jack and a queen and then there's like masculine and feminine figures in those two cards as well. So there's this energy of. Um, the masculine, feminine energy, left, right, brain, hemisphere, um, which relates to, you know, bringing those energies into balance with each other to make a decision. Because I'm getting the sense that um, a lot of the time, you know, following your intuition, listening to your heart, that is the best path. But I am getting this message that you do need to, there's some kind of thinking that you need to do as well, group two. You know, not just following your heart, not just following your intuition, but I feel like something needs to be worked out, especially with this cloud energy here, because there's something that you aren't clear on or something that you don't understand that you need to get more information on before you can make a decision about what to do next. Okay. So with this perspective card coming out under Archangel Michael, I mean, Michael typically shows himself with a blue energy, sometimes yellow as well. Blue is this energy that relates to the throat chakra and you've got two blue cards that have come out. So I feel that this blue energy with the throat chakra, it doesn't just relate to communication and how you express yourself. It relates to like the divine blueprint of the soul and um, it connects us to our past lives as well. So I feel like this decision that you're needing to make group two about what to do next, it feels like it's a big deal. You know, it whatever it is, whether it's to do with work or home or family or some other area of your life, it feels like it's nothing small. It's actually quite a big deal because I, I do get the sense that this change could be either for some of you, it might be a bit of an upheaval or it could be that it's not just a small change that's taking place here. You know, if it affects a big area of your life, it's something like we've got the prepare card here, which is really needing to get yourself ready for something, um, but not hesitating because this card with this prepare card this is like the message from your soul saying you have got everything that you need to make this change you're already there you you've already got the knowledge something might be missing to stop you from making a decision but I feel that more than anything you might actually be holding yourself back group two a little bit 
with the um, Oracle of Delphi and the Truth card and the Perspective card here, the, all of these, it's giving me this sense that you are being guided by your intuition and you do actually already know what you want to do next. It's just that I feel I'm getting the sense that the, um, the change is just daunting you a little bit. Now I'm getting some other messages coming through which might only relate to a few of you so if it doesn't resonate then don't take it but I'm getting the message that for some of you some of these cards they're making me think that you've been giving a lot to somebody or, or, or a few people or it might actually be in connection with work that you do where you're giving of yourself in some kind of work and I get the sense with this loyal and loving card and the book card that have come out that you might have been um, giving a little bit too much and that you actually need to take a break and a step back and recharge your energy. And part of the reason why you, you've been lacking in enthusiasm is because you're actually a little bit exhausted, group two. So I feel that for some of you, um, there needs to be a change in how you're taking care of yourself, first of all. And once you take a, a step back from what you've been doing, I, I think that will help you to get a little bit clearer with what you need to do next. It, I feel like you've probably been doing such a lot I've been so active you haven't actually given yourself the time and space to think about what to do next to decide what to do next what the next action or step is that you need to take and when you do take a step back it, I think this can apply to all of you whatever the situation is if you can take a step back from a mo for a moment stop doing whatever this thing is take a break from it if at all possible I mean if this is relating to you taking care of someone it could be a family member I understand that that might not be possible but if you're able to do something during your day where you're engaging in some serious self-care maybe go and have something like a holistic therapy Therapy, or go to my website and, and book an energy rebalance with me, you know, that can really help you to align your thoughts and, and your heart and your energy. And it can bring in clarity and inspiration because it clears out all the blockages. But I do feel that there is a strong need for this group to do something for yourself just for a short while. It doesn't have to be days on end, you know, just an hour or two where you're dedicated completely to yourself so that you can take a step back and get into some like into some you time, some inner peace, some inner stillness where you do something that's going to be really good for you. And I feel that that will then help spirit to come through and to guide you. I feel that some of you might be, um, with Archangel Michael coming out here, this is like an energy of needing to protect yourself in some way. I feel that that is, is very relevant for a few of you, especially when you're sensitive. There's some, some situation where you need extra protection. That's just an extra message for for a few of you okay and yeah I'm getting this strong sense that with this group whatever it is that you need to change you know this new change this ending and beginning that is coming in for you you need to make some time for yourself to uh, to actually give your mind the space to think clearly and to give you chance to tune in to your heart and intuition because I do feel that you're being very strongly guided with this situation as to what to do next it feels like like I'm seeing your higher self, your guardian angel, one or more of your spirit guys and other beings from your spirit family. It's like they're all there. They're all standing beside you and they're all talking to you. They're guiding you and they're helping you, but they're asking you just take a break for a short while. OK, um, I mean, with this book card, for some of you, you might actually really resonate with like reading a book, you know, for to, to have some escape time from whatever it is that's been going on in your life. that has been um, busy or taking your energy or just draining you you know um I feel like you might have lost your positive perspective on things and so taking a step back will just help you to regain that you know like this is the energy of the blackbird here they've got such a positive joyful energy when we get into a state of negativity or a little bit of pessimism or cynicism the blackbird is really great symbolism for helping us to turn that around into optimism and joy and hope so if you do see any birds we've got the dove and we've got the blackbird here look out especially for the blackbird that is a really positive sign that things are going to turn out for you um turn out well for you should I say Mr. the word out there so yeah I feel like you've got this ending energy coming in um so before this new beginning comes in there is this need for you to just take this step back 
Okay, decide what you're going to do next for, for bringing something new in. With these two cards here, these are interesting energies. As I say, this this um, Jack of Hearts came out in the, the last reading. And this is a really good message about following your heart, following your joy. When you're making the decision that you need to make to bring in this ending and decide what you're going to do next then tapping into this light-hearted energy of the Jack of Hearts with the dolphin energy, because dolphins love to play and have fun, don't they? But they've also got a very strong psychic ability. We've got the Oracle of Delphi, we've got the Truth card. These are all very psychic-related influences here, Group 2. So I feel that, you know, if you can take some time to yourself, I think you're going to get some really clear guidance and spirit as to what will help you for what you need to do next. But there is also this message message here from your soul about the next thing that you do it needs to be a bit more light-hearted it needs to be something that you enjoy it needs to be something that fills you up and lifts you up okay with this 24 banana card here this is a message here about I'm getting a few messages not moving ahead too quickly but also I feel as though there's something from your past that has been maybe holding you back at the moment about taking this next step with this new beginning, I feel like there might be an unhelpful old belief that you've still got running in your subconscious that I think you've been working on. I think some of you definitely have. It's not anywhere in as near as strong as it was once upon a time and it's not affecting you anywhere near as much as it was. But I think that it still might be there in the background of your mind, just chomping away at the bit and feeding your mind with unhelpful thoughts or feelings every once and again every once in a while, which makes you doubt yourself and it makes you doubt your ability and what you can achieve. And so it sometimes has this impact on you of making you dream small and taking smaller steps than, than, you, can, than you actually need to take. And it's like it kind of holds you back and it stops you from being your big, beautiful self, shining that really huge, bright light for everyone to see. I feel that whatever's coming in next for you, group two, it needs to be bigger than what you've done before. And you need to trust yourself, you know. I'm getting this message to trust yourself, to believe in yourself and to go bigger than what you've gone before. I'm going to get a couple more cards. I feel the urge. Yeah, I think it, it could be easy to get dragged down into old ways of thinking, you know, old ways of thinking, old ways of doing things, old ways of seeing things. Don't stick to your comfort zone. That's one of the messages I'm getting now. Don't stick to your comfort zone group too. Right, we have got leadership. Yeah, this is what you need to do. The, the bear, the bear has this energy of being big and being in control and not letting things weigh them down and not letting other people tell them what to do. It's like um, this energy of, it's similar to a lion energy, but not as noisy. You know, the lion has got a loud roar. This is a quieter energy of leadership that I'm picking up on where you need to forge your own path. You need to do what's right for you. And look at the lovely stars in this picture here. This is of confirmation of the guidance that you're getting in doing this, because I feel like this could be quite a big deal for you um, in the change that you're needing to make. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Pleasure. Doesn't that tie in really well with what I've been talking about with the Jack of Hearts, about needing to follow your joy? We've got this lovely Bambi, haven't we? <laughs> the little deer there, the young deer. Now, deers are really great for uh, your life path direction. Deers are very aware that they've got this very strong awareness where they're always looking out for danger, that it's like you know, when you sometimes see them nibbling at something on the ground or nibbling at a leaf, they look like they're just focusing on doing that, but they're not. Their senses are constantly on high alert all the time. And I feel that there is this message here for you to be very aware of the signs and messages that you're getting, because I feel like you're getting a lot of guidance that you're not being aware of and that you're getting a lot of signs that you might not be seeing at the moment, because all around you all the time, spirit is communicating with you, giving you signs and messages it's like 
Um, you might be seeing things repetitively. I mentioned about the dove, didn't I? And the, the blackbird there. And there's, I mean, there's a white polar bear and there's a white dove. So you might get some white feathers. You know, you might see some symbols that are white. I actually saw some doves the other day. And funnily enough, I'd mentioned it in the reading that I'd done earlier that day about white being really significant. And then when I went out for a walk, I saw two white doves. They're not something I normally see, especially two. I was so shocked. But what a clear message from spirit. So this is about having this awareness of, you know, the signs that you're getting that are leading you on this path that you're taking next. Anything that you're not sure of, spirit is helping to guide you. Okay. We've got calling. Yeah, I did get the sense of this very strongly with this group that there's some kind of inner calling. Like this is a, I think I mentioned it already that this could be quite a bit of a, a big deal for this group, this decision that you're making where you're ending something and beginning something new. It, it is a calling. It's something that's part of your soul's directive where this is why your soul wanted to come through today to talk to you about this, where this is something that is meant for you. Um, it That might be why you're feeling a little bit it apprehensive or hesitant you know if you're holding yourself back in any way about taking this next step it might be because you're tuning in into the bigness of it is that a word <laughs> It's not a word, is it? But I've I've made it a word. It's like you can sense the enormity of the energy of what is coming towards you. And it might be making you feel a little bit afraid. Do you know what I mean? And so you're just holding yourself back a little bit. So if you get any unhelpful thoughts coming in with this banana card here, don't slip back into drama or fear. Watch your step, okay? Be very aware of any self-sabotaging that's going on, any thoughts or actions especially that you're engaging in are going to stop you from being your best self, following your best path and taking the steps towards your next calling. Because this, I mean, this feels amazing. Look, look at that lovely path there going into that beautiful background. You've got a bit of a path there. There's a path on that card. Look, we've got two paths. There's a lot of paths in this reading, isn't there? a lot of pathways. This is something that's meant for you as a say group too, and you won't lose your way. But I think that because you might have been quite busy recently, you do need to take a little bit of time for yourself, maybe to clear your energy, to clear your mind, and to just to reconnect with your intuition so that you can hear the voice of spirit. Okay, I really hope that that reading has been helpful for you, group two. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your support. Have a fab day, and I'll see you again. Hello group three, thank you for joining me in the reading. So I'm going to be channeling messages from your soul to find out if you're on the right track, if anything needs to change, if you need to end something or begin something, or we'll see what messages want to come through. Let's get one more and I'll turn them over. Oh, two want to come out. So we've got decisions, 38 aware. Seven of Keys, the Ascent, and One of Keys, the Architect. Across. I'm going to get a few of these playing cards as well. Oops. Ah, it's a bit too many. We'll put those back, reshuffle, and try again. It's interesting that the decisions card has come out because this, I think there was a decide card in the first reading and then I spoke about making a decision in a second reading. So these readings from the soul, or soul energies coming through today, they are all about making decisions, it seems, doesn't it? A couple of these. We've got the Six of Clubs, Family Tribe, Four of Clubs, Building, 27 Spilled Milk, Number 7, The Key. I have been getting this sense as I've been getting these cards out that this reading relates to another person in your life, somebody that you've been having a bit of difficulty with here. We've got these cards here. This 38 Aware card um, and we've got family tribe here. So I feel that there's somebody quite close to you or somebody that you've been 
working closely with or being engaged closely with it with something it could be at work it could be home it could be friend or some other connection but that someone that has had like a quite a significant impact or not impact but has been quite um significantly there in your life for a little while it could be a long term but it could be a short term relationship either but it's this is um this is what I'm getting through is the vibe of this person where this person isn't the most supportive person. They're not the most positive person. Um, they might be somebody that gets easily caught up in fear mongering or they're quite negative or they could be quite mercurial. If you, do you know, you know where they just jump from one mood to the next and you don't know where you stand with them. I feel as though this person has got a, a lot of inner shadow energy that hasn't been healed yet. And so c connecting with them, engaging with them, because I feel that you group through are a lot more, you know, you're a lot lighter and this person is quite heavy energy wise. And so it hasn't been an easy connection for you in whatever way they've come through. Um, and if it's somebody that's been quite close to you for quite a long time, um, I mean, gosh, with this building card here as well, these two cards definitely connect to a very close connection, like a strong connection, a family bond or um, a spouse or a close friend. It's someone, it feels like a close connection, do you know what I mean? Um, and I, I, I sense that you're just getting to the point now with this decisions card where you're needing to decide what to do with this relationship, whether you want to stick it out. Because if it's a family member, then that's obviously a big decision to make. Um, so your soul wants to come through to talk to you about this today because they, it's like they're giving me a sense of the weightiness of this decision that you are in the process of making at the moment about this about this person so with this seven of keys so and the one of keys coming out together this is and <laughs> we've got the key card there which is also a number seven do you know that the number seven is the number of the door key is actually the number five and when key and door come out together you've got the door in the number um i always take it as this message where you know your soul is saying you've got what it takes to make the decision you've got the skills that you need to do what you need to do it's up to you it's like you're the one that can set yourself free you've got you might have a door in front of you but you've got the key to open the door so I feel like this needs to be you group three you need to be this figure on the top of this mountain I feel that many of you are it's like you're in this position of this higher spiritual power where you are looking at this connection from a higher perspective it's like you understand it you understand them you understand what why they're behaving the way they're behaving you can, I feel like you're seeing this connection quite clearly um, and it's not that there's anything untoward that you don't know about or anything that your soul wants to tell you about the connection I do feel that you're seeing it clearly you've got the sun shining there which is about clarity and light and truth and you know seeing things clearly so I feel that the message more is here about what deciding what steps to take okay and realizing that you can make the decision that is right for you it's very empowering to make a, a difficult choice you know as difficult as it can be often to decide to walk away from someone or to have a a very heartfelt but hard conversation with someone it's also very empowering so your soul is saying that you are at a turning point now you need to decide what you want to do next are you going to sit this person down and talk to them and find a way forward with them if you want to keep them in your life or are you going to bring the situation to a close but I am getting this strong message as I say that those of you listening to this group you are seeing this situation clearly I'm getting that coming that's coming through very very strongly this 27 spilled milk card I mean this is an ending card here then with the number nine from 27 but 
it's not necessarily ending the relationship. It's more to do with ending things the way that they are going, you know, because I feel that it's not healthy for you. It's like this person has got this you see that shadow, that's a fox, but it's like it's got this demonic shadow. I feel like when you are engaging with this person, it's like that demonic energy, that's the, the impact that this person is having on you, on your energy, and it isn't good for you. So there's some kind of a change that needs to happen, but it does need to come from you, group three. With this spilled milk card, I feel that um, I do sense that you've got some fondness here or you... Um, I mean, it depends on the type of relationship that you've got with this person. But I do sense that there's going to be this period of grieving that you need to go through, whether it's either letting go of the relationship or just accepting that because I'm getting this message, you know, for some of you where your soul is saying this person is not going to change. Some of you really, really, really need to hear that, that this person is not going to change and your soul is saying to you, you need to accept that. And I feel that this could bring in a very strong sense of loss as you go through that stage of acceptance of that truth, group, th group three, okay. Um, now, we've got a couple of interesting cards here with the architect and the building card. These are both relating to like having a strong foundation to build something on. And I feel that that's you, group three. I do feel that this person that I've been talking about here is the opposite. They don't have a strong foundation. And at times they may lean on you. It depends on the type of relationship that you've got. But for some of you, this person might lean on you a lot emotionally, mentally, even physically, they might literally lean on you. But I feel that that's because you have got this strong inner core, this strong inner power. You, you've you got a strong sense of self. You know who you are. And that's why you see things clearly because you understand yourself. And so you see the world around you clearly. You see other people clearly. But this person, they don't have a clue about who you are or about who they are. They are shut down to their true self they are you know they're caught up in their inner shadows and they are at that point in their life where it's like they've gone past the tipping point they're even if they started to try to heal themselves now and go down that go down the path that you've been down it would take more than a life's work you know for them to turn things around for themselves so they might know that on a deep level and that might be why they're choosing not to change because they know that it's just way too hard and way too much work but you group three you have put in that work this is you at the top of this mountain this is how you you know you're seeing things you you've got this higher perspective from high up you see things spiritually you understand things you understand why people do the things that they do because you understand yourself so that has brought a lot of um self-awareness and knowledge and a lot of wisdom you know because you have had a lot of experiences where you have gone back and looked at what's happened to you to learn about yourself and to learn about human behavior and then you've gained that wisdom and now you're using it in a good way now let's get some more cards to see what else your soul wants to say to you for there any other messages or if they want to say anything more about this situation um, because you're, like I say, you're at this point now of needing to make a decision as your soul has just come through saying they are not going to change and you need to accept that group three. We've got caring and dreams. Ah, those are nice cards. I love those cards. And 18, solidity, inner core. I said that, didn't I? You've got a strong inner core. You absolutely have. You've got another nine energy there as well. So yeah, nine is this energy of endings and gaining wisdom. You are this wise sage, group three. You totally are. This is you though as well. You are this very caring person. I think that you're probably very well aware that you don't want to hurt this person and you don't want them to hurt, but there's nothing that you can do about that because they're going to hurt anyway. They're already hurting. You know, if you do decide to walk away or to make a significant change in this connection, that 
This is you caring a lot, but be careful that you don't care too much about them because you need to do what's right for you. And sometimes, you know, making a tough love choice is the only choice to make where putting an end to a connection, especially when it's with someone like I've described here, it's actually better for them as well as for you because continuing in a connection like that where this person has got a lot of shadow and you've got a lot of light, it's very out of balance and when it goes on for too long, it just ends up draining you and it's really important that you understand that, okay? So, um... I feel that this caring card here is just this reminder from your soul about going about things in the way that if you think about how you would want somebody else to treat you, you know, that's how you can go about dealing with this situation and talking to this person or whatever action you decide to take. Think about how it would affect you if somebody did you. Did, did that action or spoke those words to you. So it's about finding the right way to do that. And I have no doubt that you will group three because you are a very kind and sensitive soul with a lot of wisdom. But I'm also getting the message now about balancing compassion and wisdom because sometimes it can be so easy to give a lot of compassion to people that are suffering. But when they're not willing to change, you know, you have to draw a line at how much compassion you're giving to them and engage your wisdom and say to yourself, OK, it is now time for me to step back because I can't do anything here. I can't do any more. I've helped. They don't want my help. They don't want to change. It's time for me to stop. So balance your compassion with your wisdom. I feel that there is a strong message of that, that coming through. I'm getting the sense from this image here that there is a, a feel of release that needs to happen, like breaking through something. It's like this white dove. It's almost as if it's trapped inside here. And then this outer core here, it's like this inner core, outer core, is breaking open to release this dove. And I feel like you're this energy of this dove, group three, and you've kind of been trapped in this relationship with this other person. Person, or it might feel like you've been trapped with them for quite some time but I feel like it's it's time to release yourself I'm also seeing what looks like an astrology wheel there so it feels like the um it feels like a bit of a destined moment for you, you know, where this is a soul contract, a karmic thing, maybe that has come through past lifetimes where you've incarnated with this person before, where you've had a karmic debt to repay with them. And it feels like it could be that point now where that karmic debt is finishing. Because as I say, we've got these nine energies in the reading and you've got number one there, haven't you? That new energy coming in. So I feel as though there is a need for you to break out in some way way to free yourself to let yourself go you know just to let yourself go and be free group three go and be free group three that rhymes um with this dreams card i feel as though with the energies of this is like the energy of this person is more like a nightmare and then when you get to this point of freeing yourself you're gonna be in this state of dreaming you know wishing and feeling good again and maybe you're actually going to need a little bit doubt of downtime i feel that there is a message here with these these three cards aligning that your soul is saying if you're not sure what to do or how to deal with it what action to take or what to say sleep on it a few nights or have some meditation time or have some contemplation time or go for a walk in nature but have some quiet time where you can align your mind with your heart to bring you the answer the solution the way forward to for the action that you need to take okay um because this number seven energy that's quite strong in this reading seven is about using the higher mind so this is the part of the mind that connects with spirit so that you can channel this divine guidance as to what to do in, in this situation. Call in any of the spirit beings that you like to work with or that you want some help from um, that can help you to figure out how to, to be the best way to move forward, um, you know, where, where you're coming from your heart and also engaging your wisdom at the same time. So there is this blend of energies coming through. I am sent 
sensing that there's no need to rush. I don't see any rushing energies here. The numbers that have come out in this reading are all quite uh, slow moving or, or chilled a little bit. It's about following the path that is right for you, thinking things over, listening to your heart, using your wisdom um, and being sensitive with how you make your decision or what action you, cho you choose to take and remembering to take the higher path and not getting drawn into any of the emotional reaction that this other person might have because they will most likely give some kind of emotional reaction or you know they'll, they'll probably get triggered if you um, take certain action with them you'll probably see some triggering going on so it's just a reminder not to get sucked into that I'm sure you won't group three but your soul is just reminding you it can be easy you know people with very big shadows it can be so easy to get sucked into that chaos so it's just remember to take care of yourself and keep an energetic step back from them literally I'm talking about like not allowing your aura to overlap their aura you know because when we do that when our auras overlap with other people we pick up their energy and then it can easily stick to yours so be very mindful of that um, happening maybe not just with this person but in generally group three I'm just feeling the urge to channel that message for some of you for sure it's just be aware of the aura overlapping literally the aura can span from the body it's different for every person some people have got tiny auras that are very close to the body some people have got massive auras that span several feet or even meters I mean one thing that you can can do if this resonates with you group three is to mentally pull in your aura when you're around this person and then you won't be overlapping their energy and picking up on their stuff okay let me see if there's anything else that wants to come through you know they're saying that's it okay thank you so much for listening group three i really hope this reading has helped let me know in the comments thank you for your support i hope you have a wonderful day i'll see you again